The family of Seville Smith, his death in a police involved shooting prompted two nights of violent protest last month. Today, his roadside memorial is gone. AJ Bayapur live at 44th an hour with details. Well, Ted, if you look behind me, you can see that family and friends have put some balloons back up on the tree that they've used as a memorial for the last month and a half. But they say when they got here this morning, the previous set of balloons, candles, flowers, bottles, it had all been taken down. Now they, one, want to know why, and two, are renewing their call for body camera video of the shooting to be made public. They removed the bottles, the shirts, the balloons. The stuff we put up here. Qualisha Thompson says the family and friends of Seville Smith made a deal with the neighborhood in order to keep their memorial up at 44th and hour. The curfew was 10 o'clock. We moved around 10 o'clock. We wasn't loitering. Seville Smith was shot dead by a Milwaukee police officer on August 13th, prompting violent protests around Sherman Park. Police say Smith was brandishing a gun. Authorities have yet to release body camera footage of the shooting, which the family says is now what they want most, given the release of video in Charlotte of a more recent police shooting that prompted unrest there. They released the videos in Carolina, and the video here in Milwaukee still hasn't been released. Police say the Department of Public Works took down the memorial at the request of... Khalif Rainey. Who's the alderman for this district. Rainey didn't get back to us Wednesday. Police say the request comes after continued reports of late night gatherings with loud music and public drinking. One neighbor says that was happening, but things had gotten better. At first it was like real loud and stuff, but over the past weeks it ain't been no problems. It's been quiet. The family says they want to be able to redecorate the tree, but more than that. We need the video released. We need our footage. We need that footage. And we looked into Milwaukee's policy on roadside memorials for victims. We found a 2006 resolution that states Public Works is supposed to remove them within 30 days. It's been 45 days since Smith's death, but family and friends here tell us they've seen other memorials in their neighborhoods left alone for much longer than that. We did call Public Works earlier this morning to try to find out if the policy's changed at all, what it is today. We're still waiting to hear back from them. As for the body cam footage, state investigators have said that video is not going to be made public until after Milwaukee County DA John Chisholm finishes his review of the case. A review we were told last week is still in its early stages. Live this evening at 44th an hour, AJ Bayatpour, Fox 6 News. AJ, thank you. An arrest has been made.